Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about how to install custom themes in Windows 11. In this video, we're going to use a third party software. So a big disclaimer before trying out anything that I'm going to show you in this video is that it is very recommended to create a system restore point because anytime we use a third party app to install custom themes, for example, which is what we're going to do in this video, there are some risks because Windows 11 is a new operating system and it's not that stable when working with custom themes. So keep in mind that you should be doing a system restore point or try this out on a virtual machine, testing machine or anything like that. Before talking about anything, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. In this video, we're going to talk about Window Blinds 11 Beta. I'm not sponsored in any way by the software, but I found it really interesting. And in this video, we're going to try the beta out so you can try out for free the Windows Blinds Beta for 30 days to see what's up with it and if you like it and of course this is a paid software so if you want to use it more than 30 days you'll need to pay for the software we're gonna have the download link in the article below in the description and then you can just click on get the better now and here just click on try free for 30 days the software will start downloading another thing that you need to keep in mind is that we are using the latest build for the main release which is 22,061.608 so you can try it out also on the main release after the software is downloaded, you're going to have this setup. Just double click on it to start the installation process. On user account control, click on yes. Click on I agree to the terms. Click on next. Next. The setup will copy the necessary files. And after that, the software will automatically start. And then you can click on start 30 day trial in order to test the software out. You're just going to need to enter your email. Click on the link that you receive on your email and the trial should be successfully activated. And then you can use the software for 30 days. As you can see, we are on the main tab here, which is called style and in the style and you will already have some nice styles that we can choose from and of course we have more tabs in here let's just try out a style for example let me try out this one and apply style to desktop and then click on yes you're gonna have to wait a bit because the software will start the process as i've said this is not an official process done by microsoft it's a third party app so it's pretty risky things could go wrong so it's best recommended to do a system restore point before trying anything as you can see the style was applied and it looks better Better than I expected actually. The taskbar looks really nice. Let's see how a normal window will look. Wow, this is really, really interesting. And I think this is implemented pretty, pretty well. It's a really nice, a really nice style, but let's try out another one. For example, let's try the Mac OS style. Let's click on apply the style to desktop. This is also pretty interesting and pretty nice and pretty well implemented if you ask me. I mean, all these different styles take up a lot of work to implement because Windows 11 is very, very complex. So of course you can always click on modify style to modify the colors that you want to have on your style, color to apply, range of colors, primary skin color and so on. Or you can go to manage presets and save custom presets of a certain style that you selected, which is really interesting. You can also go into the download more styles tab and here you have custom styles created by certain users that you can try out in Windows 11. And I think this is really, really interesting. And of course you can just click on download after you select a certain style and you're going to have it. You also have wallpapers that you can try and um, these are certainly nice wallpapers that I think are default in Windows 11. And basically here you have a whole wallpaper settings menu that you can try out in order to customize your wallpaper. We also have the settings menu where you can for example show the icon in the system tray, place sounds defined by the style because certain themes or styles that you apply with this software will have also custom sounds. Also apply Windows accent color based on the current theme. This is also really nice and also use the taskbar and start menu from this style. This is really nice and of course you can select the skin that you want from the drop down and of course you have other settings that you can play with we also have the advanced options where for example you can control fade in and out allow styles to use third-party plugins so of course the more you use third-party things the more uh, this will be riskier so as i've said i strongly recommend you do a system restore point and also if you want to also customize the start menu you will need to use their start 11 software which is also a three trial if you want and now at the end let's also try another style so for example ice I'm gonna click on it and apply style to desktop and you can see that the style will be applied and um, I think the software is pretty well implemented pretty well done so I think it's worth trying it out and you can see the theme is custom implemented we also have the boxes around the items that are custom created bottles and so on yeah if you ask me the software is pretty pretty well done and it's really really interesting as you can see now the taskbar wasn't changed because in settings I selected use the start the taskbar and start menu from this style so I'm just 
just gonna click on the current style and then apply settings now you're gonna see that also the taskbar will be updated to match the style that we are currently using and this is also looking really nice and as you saw in that style you can also customize the chart menu but that only if you have the chart 11 software and as you can see in the preview we also have custom gradients and also loading sections for certain items it looks really really nice for beginning I recommend you try only the styles from here that are featured and you can also try to download more styles but the custom created styles are not really personalized for Windows 11 so you could encounter some issues with those don't forget that you're gonna have the window blinds 11 download link in the article below in the description so you can try out the software and see how it is to install a custom theme in Windows 11 if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one I was Emmanuel from tech base until next time have a nice day